Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create normal decals in ZBrush and Unreal Engine like the ones you're seeing on the screen for example without using any external software for baking the normal detail. We will just be using ZBrush and Unreal Engine. I will first explain how to create the normal detail on a plane in ZBrush and then we will export a normal and opacity map directly from there. We will then use them in UE4 to create the, the decal material. Let's get started. So, in ZBrush, let's append a plane 3D. Select it. Select black color and fill the object with black. We need to do this because we want to paint white along with sculpting. So we can then create an opacity map from the paint and a normal map from the sculpt. So now that I have painted that, I will increase the subdivisions uh, here a couple of times. You can do that as much as you want, depending on the detail you want to achieve. I will select white for my brush and I will just do something random just for demonstration. Oops. What was that? Doing something like this with the clay build up going out outward. And let's say damp standard going inward like that. And let's say we want this to be our normal uh, normal decal. Uh, I also want to add that it's good to have a shiny material on uh, and have some lights on here so you can see what you're doing better because if it's black then it's difficult depending on your background and this just gives you a, a nice way to see what you're doing. So if we say for example yeah I'm we're happy with this and we want to use that as a normal decal. What we need to do is go to normal map here. First I'm gonna um, decrease the subdivisions to the minimum. You can do that also here or shift D, uh, decreasing it to one. Going back to normal map, click create normal map and there it is. Uh, we clone that. And from here, we export it and let's call it normal detail uh, new, for example. Save. And now on the button, the letter D on the keyboard or by increasing the subdivision to the maximum. Um, after that, we need to go to texture map to create the opacity map. And we create that from the poly pane that we painted along with the sculpting. Remember, you need to have RGB on when you RGB on for the painting for poly painting and Z sub for uh, sculpting or Z, yeah, depending in which direction you're sculpting. And there it is, uh, that's the opacity map. That's what we will use for the opacity map. Um, we clone that as well. And from here, we can export as PNG as well. And let's call this opacity. And that's it. We're done in ZBrush. And now in UE4, uh, I'm going to drop those textures. I have a different screen here on the side that I'm dropping them from. And then we create a new material. Let's call it decal new. Opening that. Let's drop the textures in. Then we connect the normal map normal texture with the normal map and the opacity texture with the opacity map and uh, that will be active in a second. 
So we need to change three, set, uh, three settings. And that's the material domain. Change it to defer decal because we're making a decal material. Blend mode to translucent because that's what we use for objects that require some form of transparency. And the blend mode normal because we're creating a normal decal. Save that. We're giving that a second. And now here we just type in decal in place actors. Drop it there. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm pressing G to see in which direction the decal is pointing. So this blue arrow shows us in which uh, direction it is projecting. And that's exactly the one, the direction I want to have. So I'm pressing G again, uh, just to see the gizmo. And now we can just drag and drop the decal material. And there it is. And we can see how it looks like on the cylinder. Can push it in a bit more. I'll push out. Yes. So there it is. And um, for those that were curious on why we created an opacity map, map as well, I want to briefly explain that. That's because um, the normal map would look weird on curved surfaces that. Uh, surfaces that are not straight like this cube here without the opacity map. So let's quickly demonstrate that. If we break the link with the opacity map and we save you see it looks strange like it has some artifacts without the, the opacity map. On the plane it looks a bit better, but still there... It seems like it has some errors and that's because of the sculpt that we did and everything. But um, yes, uh, that's why we need the opacity map. So everything will look crisp and nice. Saving that again, so we see the final result again. And there it is. So you can use this in any any way that you wish. You can create details like, like this one here, for example, uh, either manually by hand uh, sculpting it, or if you have some um, drag brushes that you can use in ZBrush and use the same steps like we did and uh, export the opacity and normal maps and create the material here and you can achieve results like this so i hope that helped and i would appreciate it if you left a comment below letting me know if it did help and i'm curious to hear what type of normal decal you created uh, please subscribe if you want to see more free tutorials like this in the future. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Bye bye.